Because we have so many people working at a time on an RF track, there's a couple reference images that are important for us to make to keep everyone on the same page. One big one is the track path, which just helps keep everyone on the same page as far as what's on the track and what's off the track. And another one is the fence template, which shows the spectator fencing around the track and helps guide the placement of uh, objects such as crowd, easy ups, tents, and different things that um, are around the track. So here I'm working on the fence template for high point. Uh, I opened the kind of rough overlay that we had at this point and then I'm using Google Maps to or Google Earth to get a recent satellite image which I'll be using as kind of a guide for the fence. So basically saving that to my computer, bringing that into the overlay, and then I've got to rescale the Google Earth image to match the overlay. There I'm finding kind of a reference point. Usually the corner of a building is a nice uh, reference point to kind of uh, just have something lined up to start with and then I start scaling the images needed and kind of double checking uh, by changing the opacity, flicking the visibility on and off, etc. So that's starting to line up pretty well. Just doing a few more checks, make sure it's it doesn't have to be super perfect, but I like to get it as close as I can. So now I'm making a, a, well, what am I doing actually? Looks like I'm going into the 2019 fence template to see if I can use that to save me some, some time. So, but, uh, we, it looks like we used a different base terrain for this version of the track. Um, so the scaling and everything doesn't line up perfectly. So again, I'm bringing in my other fence template, kind of finding a reference point, scaling it around, rotating to see if it'll work, but looks like it was a little off, so I'm just gonna start from scratch. So I start a new layer group labeled fences, and then I use the pen tool, zoom in on the Google Earth image, and basically just start tracing the fence with the pen tool. It's pretty simple stuff. Here there's kind of, uh, at high point, there's kind of these curving fences. Um, so you can see me kind of going in here to create a curve in the path. Then clicking at each corner. Basically, I'm just drawing a path with a three pixel stroke um, that eventually will have a transparent background and we can use it as a decal in the game. Uh, again, as a reference for what is inside and outside of the general track area. I'll later use this to determine where crowds uh, crowd statues will be um, and Alex efforts uses it to build the actual fence model occasionally uh, Alex will get done with the fences or will have a already made fit fence model that fits the updated track and so I'll just use that as my reference when doing the crowd but in this case, uh, Alex wasn't quite ready with the fences. So going ahead and do this for my reference for the crowd means I can work on the crowd while he is modeling the fence. And again, just helps keep us on the same page. So I'm just hunting through 
finding all the fence areas. Then what I'm doing here is bringing in the shading from the game just so I can uh, kind of double check where I drew my lines in relation to the actual in-game terrain because even though it's lined up to the real life map, uh, some things don't quite match up per perfectly in the ultimate terrain. So as you can see in the top uh, section of the map, the new layout uh, went through what I thought was a fence, so I have to redo that. Again, this is just another layer of reference for me to look at as I'm dialing in the fence placement. I want to try and get it as close as possible so that Alex can literally trace the line with the model so that there's no uh, adjustments which would mean you know if I go ahead and do the crowd to one thing and then he places the fence somewhere else we could have an issue where a uh, crowd is overlapping the fence or something like that that doesn't look good so yeah, just trying to get it as dialed in as well as I can at this point, so that there's no changes later. Because what's a reference worth if the reference changes? Also, I'm anal about little details, so I probably obsess over little things like this that normal people wouldn't do. But you know what? The details add up to the big picture. Maybe it's not completely worth it, but... I'm satisfied with how the tracks turn out, and what's more important than personal satisfaction. <laughs> there might be some things, but you know. Getting pretty close it looks like. Just kind of scrolling through, double checking everything. Saving it. This will eventually become the crowd map. It's not just the fence template. The kind of the fence is basically my starting point for the crowd map, so that's why I saved it as that. So now you'll notice I didn't leave opening for gates and stuff. Instead of drawing that with a pen, which is a little tedious, I just draw the whole fence straight through any gates. Then I add a mask and basically come in with a paintbrush on the mask and, as you can see, erase any sections that, uh, where a gate should be open. I'm just scanning around to make sure I'm not missing anything. There's one. And starting to look pretty good. So basically this is what the decal will look like. So saving that as a PNG that I can bring into the game. And before I upload it, send it off to Alex and the rest of the crew, I just want to double check it in the game to make sure that it all looks good. There's nothing weird happening once you uh, are actually riding the track. So just adding that as a decal on top of everything else. And let's open it up in the game. So I'll just do a quick lap, see how it looks from a racing perspective. You can see the black mark on the outside of the track is the fence template that I made. So yeah, this is just a matter of cruising around, looking where those lines are, and making sure nothing is uh, too weird looking. It all looks natural. You'd think with all the laps I put on these tracks as we're working on them that I would be better at this game, but alas, I'm not. So 
So right here is a little area on this uh, that hillside there. Looks a little weird how the fence is kind of drooping down an edge of the hill where it gets kind of steep. So I'll take a note of things like that as I'm riding. And then pop back into Photoshop, make any last adjustments. This is where this shading uh, image comes in handy because it kind of reveals the hills. So I'm just going to pull that back a little bit off that steep edge. Save it one more time, double check it in the game. And if all looks good, the fence template will be complete. And Alex can start building the fences and I can start uh, really working on the crowd map. So yeah, that hill looks a little better. It's not just dripping off the side of the hill, the fence line. Just kind of checking that out. Make sure where if any fences go there, it'll seem natural. Make sure it's not kind of overlapping that road. Looks good to me. Just kind of double checking it one more time from the track perspective and we are good to go. So yeah, that's that for the fence template. Next up is the crowd map.